Manager 2023 VFB Stuttgart player rating. Shout out Tarek, amazing. My brother, you get me. Um, this is obviously a gem hunt. Man are predicted to finish 15th. And um, yeah, let's get into it. Nickname Jung Wild. Yeah, um, as you can see, I don't speak German. Anyway, owner status loves the club and no continental competition because last season they finished. 15th and that's where they're predicted to finish again let's see why and let's see if they've got any gems that anyone can sign you get me all right oh, i forgot to show you who we're going from but you know what let's do it let's just get straight into this bruv um first player we've got is my like fabian breadlow um man's 27 he's a backup goalkeeper in it um we met him on sweeper keeper attack man has got nine first touch ten passing with mental ability like that and he thinks he's attacking bro you know the man that you, you know you, that was not English, bro. Um, man's got a wooden spoon and he's in combat, bro. That's what he's doing, isn't it? Um, just flawlessly wielding a wooden spoon. But when there's men with blades and AK-47s, I don't think a wooden spoon's going to help you in battle. That's the analogy I'm going to use. But yeah, I don't think this guy's an attacking guy at all. I'll just use goalkeeper defend. And even that might be a stretch. 40 reflexes, 30 agility, 30 one It's all right. But obviously, um, there's levels. He's definitely staying on the bench. Bench man, you get me. And lastly, for the goalkeepers, we've got a 24-year-old Florian Muller. All uh, right, yeah, he is. I would say, I'm so I'm so tempted to say signable, but um, 24. Nah, you know what? 40, 15 reflexes, 14 agility, and 13 one-on-ones is good, man. And he's very good, well-rounded in terms of the mental ability as well. He needs to work on his positioning, goalkeeper-wise. That's not good. We met him on sweeper keeper attack, mentally, it's decent. Um, the first touch is actually there. He can actually pass and kick, so it makes sense, bruv. So yeah, he's definitely starting. And I would probably give him the benefit of the doubt in terms of signing him as well. Um, especially if you can get him for that cheap. I would have this guy. I'm not going to allow I'll sign that for that cheap still, I'll be honest. My like Florian Muller, just, just signable in my opinion. All right, the first outfield player that we've got is Konstantinos Mavrapanos. Um, I only know him because of Arsenal. Um, they've sold him for like, how much is it? Two million? They sold him for two million. Um, they bought him for 2.2, sold him for 2.8. In Arsenal's um, books, that's pure profit. And they think they did a, a, an, an amazing bargain with that deal. I know what Arsenal are like, bruv. You get me? Um, cheapest club I've Okay, shut up. Listen, 12 technique, 11 and 12 passing. Man's a no-nonsense. So that is pretty much irrelevant for no-nonsense. Very good tackling, um, amazing work rate, determination, bravery, and aggression as well. Good strength, good jump reach, good heading. I'll be honest, the only thing he's missing right now is one stat, which is under average by one, which is why I'll say it as a no-nonsense. Believe it or not, I think he's signable, you know, for a no-nonsense anyway. I think I don't really see anything too wrong with him just being on pure violence and... That's what it looks like. He's six foot. Bruv, the guy's six foot four and he's got all of these stats, man. I'll sign that if I use no nonsenses, which sometimes I do. You get me? The next player that we've got is my lad Dan Axel Zagadou. Um, this is the one that I was at Dortmund, innit? Um, I was even at PSG, yeah. Now man's playing for Stuttgart, yeah. So um, all the hype was pretty much for no reason, let's be honest, bruv. Man's gone for free now to Stuttgart, bruv. Stat wise, I mean. He's still not that bad, I'll be honest. In terms of playing out from the back, he's actually very above average. Very good on the ball. Very good positioning-wise, good tackling. Um, I know he used to be faster, but 13 pace isn't too bad for a centre-back. He's that 8 agility, bro. Man's got hit by that time stone that Dr. Strange is wielding. He's got one of them things. And yeah, man's just in slow motion. 8 agility. Drop me out, bro. Um, but apart from that, I wouldn't... Okay, he's only 23, to be fair. I don't even see his age. For his age... I'll use him. I ain't gonna lie. If I've got someone that's fast next to him, I'll use him. I'll chat no rubbish right now. You get me? I always chat rubbish. All right, next we've got a 29 year old Wataru Endo. All right, uh, man's a CDM and he's a ball winning midfielder. Dusty. Dusty. Um, 13 technique, 12 vision, 13 passings. All right, to be fair, very good concentration, positioning, good work rate, good, good tackling as well. Yeah, um, unfortunately, man's gonna have to keep him in that role in it. It's the only thing that actually makes sense. He's decent on the ball, but he's better at winning it, to be fair. So let's play it to the guy's strengths. They said star player, yeah. For who? Not not for me, bruv. I ain't going to lie. Like That ain't starting for me, just based on the role, innit? But um, if that's starting for you, then I'm worried, bro. If that's a star player, I'm, I'm so worried, bro. All right, next player they've got is a 25-year-old Wildemar Antonia. He's all right. Just, just bang average, really. I mean, playing out from the back, 11 technique, 12 vision, 12 passing. 
it's dusty, let's be honest, but it's still doable. 11 first touch, dusty. Um, composure, 13. Positioning's very good. Tackling, 14. Like I'm saying, he's just he's just well-rounded. He's just all right. Um, the strength obviously needs to improve. 13 strength is not that great, but he's just all right in it. So I wouldn't sign that, but I'll have that in the squad. Like, I'll, I wouldn't even start it, but I'll definitely have that in the squad, in my opinion. Man, like, Wilder more Anton. All right, the next player that we've got is a 26-year-old, Pascal Stenzel. Yeah, man said that he's on fullback support with 10 dribbling and 10 crossing. That's like you have the support of a bungee jump with no strings attached, bro. Are you going to trust that? Are you going to trust a bungee jump? If you go bungee jumping, are you going to trust a bungee jump that hasn't got any strings attached, bro? You're just going to jump and plummet to your death, bro. That's what will happen if you make this guy on support. That's all I'm saying. I wish I had a drink to sip after I said that. But no, um, that's the innit. Um, 12 tackling as well. God God forbid this guy gets bucked by a wing with any anything about him. Because if a winger's got anything about him and, and comes across this guy, yeah, the scene could get bloody, bro. I'm not going to chat rubbish. You get me? Man, like Pascal Stenzel dropped me out, mate. So. Right, and this we've got a 25-year-old, Atakan Karazo. Um, deep plan playmaker, 14 technique, 15 vision, 14 passings, very good composure, 15 decisions, 15 amazing positioning. For, yep, he's that guy, he's that guy. I'll sign that. Yeah, oh yeah, you heard that right. You heard that right, I'll sign that. Um, honestly, little ball retention, deep plan playmaker on defend duty. Even though tackling's 12, he's still good enough on the ball, I don't give a damn. You know my deep plan playmaker, that's my favourite role in the game. And yeah, he, he can do it still. He, he's even got that dictates tempo trait. Yeah, he's, he's one of my players. I'll sign that. Man like Atakan Kairazo. I like what I see. All right, next we've got a 24-year-old Borna Sosa. Man like Chief Keith, yeah? My guy. Um, complete wing back, obviously, because positioning 11, tackling 12. So you have to always have that in mind, yeah? That you need your centre-back to cover this guy. Otherwise, um, that's just the whole side of your pitch. Defensively, that's getting exploited. Just based on the fact that he's not going to be there, innit? It's not even his fault. Tackling is bad, but he's genuinely not going to be there. He's going to be in the other half, near the byline. Get into the byline with 14 dribbling, 14 flair. At a good pace as well, with 16 pace, yeah? And then, man's got 16 crossing. So, yeah, I trust this guy on the ball. However, off the ball, and I'm not talking about the stat off the ball. I'm genuinely saying when he's not got the ball, he is very vulnerable. I ain't going to lie. Like, in a defensive situation. So, yeah, his strength is on the ball. And if you play with wing backs, I think he's signable. As in actual wing backs. As a left back, uh, I wouldn't sign it, but I'll use it. Yeah, so. All right, next we've got a 23-year-old Hiroki Ito. All right. Um... Ball playing defender on cover with good pace. Tech oh yeah, drop me out. No way. No way, bro. Man needs send I'll send that on loan right now. I'm not gonna lie because I can't put a guy with 12 tackling as cover. Cover means that you're gonna be the last man, because it's cover. You think about it. So if this is the last man with 12 yeah, ha hell no, bro. It's not it's not it's just not gonna happen. He's got 12 strip, yeah. First thing man needs to bang Jim. Secondly, he needs to learn how to win the ball. Send him on loan. That's me. That's me personally. You get me. Other than that, he's not too bad. But yeah, them two things need to happen right now. So. All right. Next, we've got a 21-year-old Joshua Wagner man. Um, why is his name ringing a bell? Honestly, I haven't got a clue, bro. Because stat-wise, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. The, the, these I, I call these men expired mill deal ballers, bro. Man is still on the shelf, bro. Mill mill deals that have long been expired, like a week old, still on the shelf. Man, are still trying to bump, man. For expired meal deals, bro. This is what this is. Like, the stats are so dusty. Man will just say, you know, you, you know what, yeah. Drop, drop me out completely. Um, At least he's fast. But, yeah, that just makes me want to run away quicker. Yeah, have fun if you're using that. I highly doubt you are. See. All right, next we've got 22-year-old Nicholas Nati. Big up all the Danish man, them. You get me? 11 pace. Um, Where is he? He's a Mazella. 12 dribbling, 13 flare. All right, all right. Um, 14, 10, 8, 4, 8, 14 passing is good. The decisions need to improve. He's very composed. Uh, I'm sending that on loan. I ain't gonna lie. See, I see what he's trying to do based on his age and obviously his pace because I'm a biased mother chucker. But I'll send it on loan, bro. Yeah, I'll give him a chance. Loan him now. Me, me. I'm talking to myself. I'm not giving anyone orders, bro. You get me? So. Next, we've got a 20 year old Nauri Ahamada, bruv. Man's a squad player, yeah. He's a winning midfielder. Why are you doing this, bruv? Why are you doing this? I actually don't understand, bro. Like, it don't make no sense, yeah. I know you're twenty, bruv. You're twenty years old, bro. Like stat wise, man can't be doing that with eleven tackling, bruv. Like, come on, man. On the ball, man's way better in it. So the fact that we've met him on such a dusty role is just pure. It's just disrespectful. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know what the game's doing. Whoever done that, 
Man needs to look in the mirror, bro. Like Bruno Mars and Lil Wayne, bro. You get me? Mirror, in, mirror, mirror on the wall and that. You get me? Runs with ball through centre because he's technical enough to do that. You get me? Man has got one off the ball, you know. You know the man there that they... You know like when you go to the beach and then you just like crack open your plastic chair and that and then you're just chilling on the beach. Or you just back out a rug or something. That's what he does on the pitch. The man's just chilling, bro. He ain't getting into the right position at all unless he's got the ball, innit? So yeah... If he's not on the ball, he's useless. Pretty much, bro. That's what the stats are telling me. Man's got one. Whoever did that stat doesn't rate him, bro. Let's be honest, because they've made him they've they've rendered him useless by giving him one off the ball. They're basically saying when you're in transition, he is on the phone chatting to his gal, bro. Yeah. Um I'm not I'm not gonna I think he was good until I seen that stat, and I think that's just ruined everything, bro. You get me? In my opinion. Alright, next we've got a 21-year-old, Tangai Kulibari. Alright, uh, man's a straight line left winger, yeah? But he's got nine crossing, bro. Man's got nine crossing and he's a straight line left winger. So he's going to get to the byline and do nothing else apart from chat rubbish to the linesman and probably to the opposition fans, bro. Because he can't do anything else. He can't cross, bro. He can't cross. It's bad. It's really bad. Um, and he can just about pass. I know he's 21. I know, I know. But I don't give a damn, bro. These stats are unacceptable. I ain't gonna lie. Um, in terms of his development, I will either release that or I don't even think anyone will buy him for me to say sell him. Someone has to release him, bro. I don't think I'll get any money from this guy. If I do, I'm hey, the way I'm about to run, hey, you ain't never seen anyone run as fast as, as me. The way I'll start running if man give me a deal for this guy, I'm off. You get me. Alright, next we've got a 19-year-old Enzo Milot, bruv. Alright. Um, very well-rounded. He's doing it in about 12... Yeah, nah. You know what? That's good because he's 19, isn't it? So that means you give him first-team football. When you see these 13s and 12s turn into 13s and 14s, possibly 15s in the future, he's going to be highly sought after, I expect. Um, the coach rates him, you get me? The coach says that he's got five-star potential. I think stat-wise he's got that as well. Bun the coach for a second. I actually agree with the coach. That don't make no sense, but we're going to run with it anyway. You get me? Live by the sword, die by the sword. Yeah, I think he's a he's a very well-rounded young player, man. Miles sign that still, 100%, bro. All right, next we've got my like, Silas Katompa Mvompa. And no, that was not me beatboxing. That's, man, never mind. I'm 14, 20, 12, 13, 13 passing. Yeah, I miss decent. 14 dribbling, 17 flares. Amazing. He's got very good pace as well in a straight line. Cutting inside as well, to be fair. Um, 13 decisions, 12 composures. Decent. I'll be honest, concentration needs to improve, but... It's all right, man. He's probably one of your... Yeah, he is. He is your star player. The funniest thing is, yeah, um, he's not too bad in terms of passing. Crossing, it definitely needs work, yeah. This is your main man, and he can't shoot the ball, bro. So the fact that man's seen him... I've seen him been playing up front. Like I actually remember in real life, I saw him playing up front, bro. But um, if you tried to do that in game, I don't know what you would be doing, bro. I ain't going to lie. He can't play striker because 11 finish, and that's not sustainable, bro. So yeah, what I'll do is... Keep him out wide. I can't make him straight line. He's going to have to cut inside and play with his head up, bro. That's what it's going to have to be. That's that's what he's genuinely best at, innit? Which is mad, someone like this. That's that's what you're left with, bro. It's mad. All right, next we've got a 24-year-old Chris Farrich, bro. All right. Very, very versatile. Um, Man's got the trait, likes to beat opponent repeatedly as well. So he's on that kind of stuff, you get me? Um, we, Never mind. Um, listen... 14 dribbling and 14 flare, yeah, that's good enough, man. 13 to meet 13 to pass is good. Um, good long shots, yeah. Um, he looks like he's definitely better on the ball, even though he can kind of win it. Mentally, he needs to improve a little bit, but he's 24, so it is where it is now, I'll be honest. Um, I'm not signing that, I'll be honest, but I guess I'm going to have to use it. And where I would use it, I don't even know right now. I'll have to des des decide that. When I line them up, bruv, you get me? That's the only thing that man can do right now. You get me? All right, next we've got a 19-year-old Lillian Egloff, bruv. You get me? Man, man, like, yeah, listen. Man's a natural centre mid and cam, yeah? Um, he needs to improve his off the ball, but he's 19. Fair enough. You get me? Um, 30 dribbling and 30 flares. Very good. 12, 10, 12, and 30 passing is good as well. For his age, he's quite mature, I'll be honest. For his age, I feel like he's going to develop really well. Um, and... Depending on what team you're at, if you've got like a slot where you can start in week in, week out, right now I'll probably start with ball retention midfielder, centre mid, probably advanced playmaker and support. With time, I'm moving that to like a cam or shadow striker. If his decisions improve, which they definitely will, I think he's going to go bond that. I know he's going to go far, yeah? This guy, he looks like a good gem. 
I'll say that just because I know what he'll be like in the future, innit? Not necessarily for now, but because I know what it can be. I'll get my hands on that from early still, my, my, my opinion. All right, next we've got man like Lauren Ulrich, bruv. Man 17. The mental ability definitely reflects his age, I'll be honest, bruv. It's very rare to be young with good mentals. And that's why I always praise the ones that do have them because it's not, it's not normal to have. And he doesn't have it, but what he is good at is obviously on the ball and that. Man's very good, very good um, flair and dribbling, good passer, good first touch. Um, apart from that, man just needs to get get some get some first team football. I'll probably loan him out, you know. 17, man by 19 should have at least 10s everywhere for what I need in that triple threat of the mentals, bro. So that's the bargain that I'm willing to take for a 17-year-old kid right now. You get me? All right, the next player I've got is my like Juan Perea. Man's 22. Um, Stat-wise, the best way I can put it is... It looks like they've got the stats of someone that is running to his local corner shop before it closes. Literally. Uh, and if you want me to explain it, I will right now. Uh, man's running at speed because obviously man's got the pace and that. And he's angry because he's almost about to miss the corner shop being closed. Yeah, that's pretty much all it is. Man got interviewed and then gave the stats. That's what it is because definitely not a footballer. Nine passing dropped me out, bro. Ten finish A. And he's a striker? I don't know what he's doing here, bro. Yeah, have fun. Right, next we've got a 20-year-old, Thiago Thomas. Um, mentally, obviously, man needs to improve. That's why he's on loan to you because, yeah, they're not dealing with that. I don't blame them. Um, very good pace. Good off the ball for his age anyway. Um, brave as hell. Pressing forward probably makes sense. I ain't going to lie. Finishing will improve, but 13 right now is good. And he's got amazing flair. I think he's got potential, you know, because imagine if his dribbling goes up. Now, all of a sudden, he's got very good dribbling and amazing flair. That can shoot. He could potentially be a poacher as well if it's not a pressing forward because when you're dribbling like that, you don't necessarily have to pass, especially when you can't, which he can't, you get me? And he's got good pace as well. Yeah, man, I'll definitely have my eyes on this guy if I can get that signed permanently. Um, depending on his development, yeah, man, I'll probably ask for another loan. I might ask for another loan still, but if I can't, I'll be willing to spend about eight million. Maybe, depending, all depending. All right, next we've got a 26-year-old, Seru. Grassy, bruv. All right. Um, very good physically. Um, off the ball needs to improve. Very good finishing. No comp. Oh yeah, Jesus. All right. So basically, these stats are saying that he's actually not a bad player, but he can score goals. But the fashion that he's going to be scoring them are going to be very ugly. Like the technical ability is low. The the composure. Like you don't want to see this guy scoring. Like in intentional intentional shots are going to be like. They're going to be so laboured and, and so robotic based on that composure, concentration and that. It's not going to be good, bro. Six foot two, but yeah. Man says he plays his shots with 11 composure. I would love to see what that looks like. You get me? Man's trying to finesse it, but he's just not got it, bro. He's just, he just hasn't got the, the composure to do the finesse thing. Finessing is for someone that's composed that has to pick his corner. How the hell can earn that hasn't got composure have that trait, bro? I would love to see what that looks like. All right, next we've got a 33-year-old Sven Shiplock, bruv. All right, man. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I mean, at least he shoots with power in it, so at least there's a bit of intent behind his his footballing ability. But apart from that, Jesus Christ, man. I don't know what that is, bro. Man's 33. Release him right now, bro, because I don't think you're gonna get even 20k for that. It's funny, it's funny. All right, the penultimate player that we've got is a 25-year-old, Luca Fifier. All right, um, no pace, off the ball and average by one. Um, very good finishing and heading as well. Jump and reach, very good strength, very good. Um, and he can actually link play as well. So, yeah, as a target forward. Yeah, he is a target. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's six. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Off the bench, that could be a problem still. I would use that. Um, signing him is different. Um, signing him will only be a last resort if it's like deadline day and I really need a striker and like yeah I've got no money I can get him for less than 5 million that's the only way I'm signing that still but at least he's signable in some way you get me and the last player that we've got for VFB Stuttgart is Thomas Castanaras bruv alright man's a poacher um, obviously 12 to Nico and 11 passing isn't actually too bad for a poacher there's grown men as in like 10 years above him poachers that can't do that um, the decision making, I agree with the poster thing already. He's 19 with 13 finishing and 13 um, heading as well. Um, good off the ball. Yeah, man, he's. I, I, I have to agree in it, but I have to play him week in, week out, though. If I'm not being able to play him week in, week out here, I would honestly loan him. I ain't going to lie, but he's got he's got potential, at least as a shooter, in it. So that's what we're going to have to go with. 
he's only 19 and this is how i'm lining up f vfb stuttgart bro all right um we've got a sweeper keeper on the fair man like muller you get me he's signable in my opinion let's 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 run through this man like sosa um if you play with wing backs as in wing backs like that i'll sign that still however if it's a left back thing and i haven't got someone covering which i don't right now but obviously with a click of a button i will I'll have him on the bench. I wouldn't sign that still. Anyway, Zagadou ball playing defender on the fend. Very good on the ball. No notes in centre back. Ex Arsenal man. Man like Konstantinos Mavrapanos. That's what I'm going with. You get me? Um, cover. No nonsense. I am not using their full backs on that right. I'm not. I'm for it. Uh, you know what? Yeah. I would actually just remove the role, honestly. But I have to have someone in there for this video. I'll just have Stenzel. As soon as the video's done, he's getting released, bro. Anyway. Atakan Kadazor is playing deep plan playmaker on the fend, yeah. Similar to what Aaron Moy was doing for Australia, man's just cr controlling the whole game from deep. That's what man's gonna do, innit? You get me, man, that like Kadazor. And then Egloff, man, make him a Mazella for now. Um, man's got a lot of potential. He's, he's a young guy. Man, make him a little Mazella. The midfield's gonna be very young, you get me. And I've got Milo, just to back up my point, right next to him. Little advanced playmaker, ball retention, and that, you get me. Hopefully, his dribbling will improve, yeah. And then Katampa Mvumpa, yeah. Um, man's got all the pace in the world. Can't shoot, so we have to make him inverted winger. Not too bad, I'll be honest. And then Furich, straight line right winger. Not too bad, I'll be honest, man. Um, he's a decent player. Um, yeah, he's actually not too bad. And then up front, we've got Gurasi. I mean, it's, it's all right. It's not the end of the world. He can, they, they can do jobs, I'll be honest. If you've got a system in place... You've got some decent players in there. I am not going to lie to you. Um, I can't really say underrated because they're not expected to do anything anyway. So, I think stat-wise they've got some good footballers. And some that, depending on the level of save you're doing, are signable. If you're using this team and you've got a good tactic, I would say you can push for top 10 with that squad. But obviously you're going to need to make some signings, at least some. But yeah, that's not a bad player. Jesus Christ. <laughs> It's not a bad team, you get me. And that is the VFB Stuttgart player ratings. As you can see, it's a massive club. They won the Bundesliga five times, yeah, so put some respect on their name. You get me. Anyway, shout out my brother Tarek Amazing. Appreciate you, bro. Um, that's a decent team. I've already broken down what I've had to say about this team. So, um, yeah, if you found any gems, I hope you can sign them, hopefully. And, yeah, if you like that video, like that video. Subscribe to the content you know what to expect from me. And I'll see you in my next episode, bro.